Hello students, welcome to Agri Clarity. Today we are going to discuss a topic from plant biotechnology that is direct DNA transfer. Direct DNA transfer is basically the delivering of foreign DNA into plant cells without a vector. Right? We all know that. What I wanted you to make sure is that you are answering the questions asked in the end of the video and commenting the answers because when you write it, you remember it better. So make sure you're commenting down the answers. Okay, very few students are answering. I want all of you to answer. Okay, let's jump into it. Let's quickly understand the key direct DNA transfer methods used in plant genetic engineering. These techniques are especially useful for monocots, which are not easily transformed using agrobacterium. Otherwise, we could have used the vector agrobacterium for them, right? So let's go through the key direct DNA transfer methods. Number one is microinjection. Here DNA is directly injected into the nucleus or cytoplasm using a fine glass micropipette. Though precise, it's labor intensive and suited mainly for protoplast or large cells. Next is particle bombardment or biolistics, also known as the gene gun method. Microscopic gold or tungsten particles coated with DNA are shot into plant tissues at high velocity. It's commonly used in monocots like rice, maize and wheat. Number three, Liposome mediated transfer. DNA is enclosed in artificial lipid vesicles called liposomes which fuse with the cell membrane releasing the DNA into the cell. It's efficient but has low transformation frequency. Number 4. Electroporation. A high voltage electric pulse is applied to protoplast to create temporary pores in the membrane through which DNA enters. It is efficient but only works with protoplast, not whole cells. Number 5 is PEG mediated DNA uptake. PEG is polyethylene glycol, induces fusion of DNA with protoplast membranes promoting DNA intake. It's simple, cost effective and often used with electroporation. It's a chemical method widely used for in vitro transformation. Next is silicon carbide whisker method. In this method cells are vortexed with silicon carbide fibers and DNA. The fibers puncture the cell wall allowing DNA to enter. It's simple but can damage cells. These methods are instrumental in crop improvement programs, especially in genetically transforming cereals and legumes that are hard to transform otherwise. Now let's discuss some of the practice questions. Look at the screen. Now here is your first question. Which of the following direct gene transfer method uses microprojectiles coated with DNA for plant transformation? I've just now discussed it. Look at the options and write the answers in the comment section. Next question is, which method involves the use of fine fibers to pierce plant cell walls for DNA delivery? Alright, you can look at the options and write the correct answer in the comment section. 